Hello everybody. <clears throat> Joe here and happy Thursday. So today is a thoughtful Thursday and I want to talk. I have thoughts on um capsule wardrobes. Uh, capsule wardrobe is usually when y your clothes can, like, mix and match. Like, you have a, a smaller amount of clothing, clothing items, and they all can, like, interchange and go together. And some people... Cap capsule wardrobe is a hundred items. I've seen capsule wardrobes that are like 50 or 60 items. Um, Jennifer from the Daily Connoisseur, she does a 10 item wardrobe where each, like, like a spring summer is. Like, the main part of it is 10 items, and then she has, like, extras, which are, like, pajamas and undergarments and stuff, and so, but the main part of her wardrobe is just 10 items, and she actually, years ago, did a whole TED Talk on it, and I really, I love that video. I actually have it saved in my YouTube favorites. Um, then there's, then Courtney... This was when he created Project 333, 333, um, and that's 33 items for three months, which means that you're doing about 33 um, times 4. So it's basically like 130-something like items for the year. If you're doing a different 33, 33 items every, you know, three months. Um, which, if you love clothes, I think over 100 items for the year is plenty. Because I'm not, I, I can't remember if he counts pajamas in that or not. Now, for me, my wardrobe size always fluctuates. It depends on the climate I'm living in. If I'm in a cold weather climate, obviously, I need slightly more layers and different clothes. If I'm in a warm weather climate, um, you know, my clothes will tend to be lighter and all that you know if 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 it's if the weather's hot you know i'll tend to wear more shorts but i kind of approach so people consider me to have a capsule wardrobe um so let me show you mine, and I'll show you what I mean. So, like for right now, I have tops that I wear out. I have one, two, three, four, and then plus the ones I'm wearing, that's five, um, like, black leggings that serve as pajama pants and lounge pants and going out pants. Um, and then I have my robe that I haven't worn much because it just hasn't been cold enough to need it. I'm currently living. Then I have 
lots of socks, sports bras, underwear. I have my ties. Uh, pajama lounge shorts. I have one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Plus one, I'm wearing four pajama tops, lounge tops, and then the two pairs of shorts down there. And then I have three pairs of tennis shoes. I have, well, I guess two of the pairs we consider like hiking boots, um, or boots, but I wear them as shoes. So, with my wardrobe, I'm, oh, and I also have like a sweater jacket down Downstairs that I use, and one of my pairs of tennis shoes is downstairs, and then I have more compression socks in my don't access regularly bin because currently with where I've been living, um, all my compression socks are like are knee high, but I just haven't haven't been wearing them here. I probably should, but you know when you wear socks that are knee high, it's it you get so hot, and with this being a hot weather, warm weather climate here, it's it's even though compression socks are good for me, I just haven't been wearing them. Um. But I'm not, but I do need them. They are helpful on occasion. So I'm not letting them go. And then, I think I own like six pairs of ankle socks. And then I have I think like seven to ten pairs of undergarments and then I have my three sports bras and so like if I was in a cold weather climate I'd own a heavy jacket um I still do need to get it does rain here on occasion so I still need to get a raincoat so when I go out and if it's if if it seems like it's gonna rain I don't get, you know, soaked. So I kind of take more of the 10 item wardrobe approach to my clothes. Um, you know, I used to uh, own my like, jeans and I currently, because of the way my body is and the way my weight's been fluctuating, um, having jeans and a belt just hasn't been practical for me right now. Um, and I am in the process of losing weight. So I've actually lost, um, 15 pounds since August so that's awesome um, by the time this comes out I'm filming this in February this comes out in March and hoping by the time this comes out I will have lost even more weight but I'm really happy with it right now so having the wearing leggings and like lounge stretchy pants with the way my body is right now um, and with my chronic illness issues is really helpful. So,
and I find like I, I'm not the type to I don't love clothes in fact I loathe really dislike clothes shopping it's something I will make my clothes last for as long as possible like even with my weight fluctuating up and down and with inflammation and swelling and stuff and bloating I like my clothes a little big so as long as they don't get too big like way too big I will wear my clothes even after I've lost weight until they're just too big and too baggy and they don't walk anymore then I'll get something different so if you're like me and you don't love clothes and you don't love clothes shopping and you want to keep your wardrobe really simple um, I would highly recommend a capsule wardrobe or a small wardrobe um, I've always considered my wardrobe a small wardrobe I guess it would be considered a capsule because you know everything goes together um, because I have multiple of the same shirt just in, in you know two different colors for shirts I'm going out in um, and because right now with all my um, lounge pants like leggings being black I guess you could say I have a uniform because you know all my socks are basically the same leggings you know same shoes you know same shirt all that stuff so I guess my capsule wardrobe would be considered more of a uniform but it works really well for me if you love clothes by all means and you have a space by all means have a big wardrobe um, but I know for me I just prefer having a smaller wardrobe having what's considered a capsule wardrobe it just makes things easier I will like if it if it's hot I will switch from um, lounge pants to shorts if it's if it gets cold I'll switch my shorts to lounge pants um and with me with chronic illness and lack of stamina uh, I will wear something multiple times if it doesn't stink badly if it, if it, like if, if, if it gets if my, if the clothes clothing item gets stinky or is visibly dirty then it goes in the laundry if it's not stinky or visibly dirty then I will wear it until it is depending on what my body's doing and depending on um how hot or cold it is or how hot or cold I am um sometimes I can wear something for like just a short period of time and it gets stinky and dirty and sometimes I can wear something for a couple days and it same thing for a couple days and it's fine so if you have um health issues you probably get that uh, another advantage of the capsule wardrobe is that for me I basically I don't do laundry until I'm basically have like one outfit left in my closet once I'm down to like once there's only like one shirt and like one pair of leggings or one pair of shorts in my closet then I will do laundry and the great thing about having a very small capsule wardrobe is
basically it's some it's like an arm it's like a arm full of clothes like I could probably like I'm plus size but I could probably get one of those like you know small bins at Target or like one of those like cloth bins you fit in the cube shelves and use that to dump all my clean clothes in out of the dryer and take them upstairs. Because that's just how small my wardrobe is. And that's with having like plus size clothing. You know, some, you know, chubby girl clothing. Um, and I used to be the type who would do laundry once a week. Um, but if you have a capsule wardrobe and you have chronic health issues, um, waiting till you're down to your last, basically have nothing left to wear and you just do laundry, it works really great. So those, that's my thoughts on a capsule wardrobe. I hope seeing mine helps you. Um, hearing it from a, hearing about capsule wardrobe from a chronic illness perspective. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, there are so many different capsule wardrobe. You can go on YouTube, go online, and you're going to find so many different versions of Capsule Wardrobe. And I just thought I would share my thoughts on a Capsule Wardrobe. So I hope you enjoy this. And I will see you next time. This is a collaboration hosted by my friend Joy at Organize with Joy. So I will have her channel linked in the description box below. So go say hello to our wonderful host. And I will also have a playlist for anybody else sharing their thoughts today on a subject. And I'll have that linked in my description box below. But like I said, I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!